So now, <clears throat> next step. Okay, we was able to recognize, perfect, the text, but open the drawing again here in CAD system. And now I will measure a distance and we really check what is uh, the quality of a coordinates. Distance. Distance from here to here. You see, this distance is 12.3, uh, so four, six. And now, you become maybe when the idea, okay, good, then let me scale the zoning. Scale, okay, all. So, now, base point, oh, let me take this point, okay, okay, and what is the scale factor? Scale factor, I make a reference, okay, reference. So, base, base scale is this one, mm -hmm. okay, and the new length have to be 16.04. Can you see it? Up. So, and let me measure now this distance. Okay? Okay. Distance. From here to here. Perfect. 60.04. Wow. Good, yeah? And then you think, oh my god, now I have a perfect drawing. I can work with it. Everything is okay. Well, get it. If you scale the drawing, you don't change the accuracy. Now what I did is only I make only a drawing but back accuracy bigger. Now if you measure the distance here, for example this distance and this distance, you see this is not 9.75, it's 9.7477. Oh my god. And if you measure this distance, for example, from here to here, it have to be 4.47, but it's 4.46. Why? Because with scaling, you do not change the accuracy of the drawing. You can change the accuracy only with the help of a calibration points. And this is what I'm doing now. In the future, in next few weeks, we will offer this calibration here on the base of our CatConf, uh, uh, our CAT system, CatConf Connect. So in the future, we'll be able here to put the calibration point, tuck, 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 and then scale the drawing, so that we have everything in the right dimension, dimensions. Now, now we offer this the scaling, uh, or this, this calibration of this drawing here, under, in OCR mode, under OCR expert functions here, you will find here coordinate calibration. But what I'm doing now here, I switch this, uh, this text recognition off, so that um, um, this, um, not, um, we don't need so much time here for, um, uh, for conversion, and look here manual carbon elevation of coordinates and here I put here now my my uh, my tolerance very small so to zero five because I this drawing is very very accurate as uh, so, so the coordinates are more accurate and I need here maybe oh maybe it's zero dot uh, so five okay you can uh, if you go here on help um, in the help you can read automatically so, so exactly what is this tolerance okay but now I go here on the on the here to the subject and now here you have to you can put 10 20 50 calibration points and calibration point can be every time on the end of a line because we snap to this end of a line don't put the calibration points like me here here so this can be calibration point of here for example here and you can this is coordinate 100 100 because with this calibration points you are not able to and to increase the the, uh, the the accuracy because what what I have to snap here I snap here on a pixel on a screen so every time if you define a calibration points define the end of a lines and for example you can snap here this corner 
okay? And if you know the coordinates of this corner, you can put this coordinate here. And you can snap, for example, this corner here, and if you know the coordinate, you can put the coordinate, you can, if you know, for example, this corner, you can put here the coordinates of it, coordinates, and you can calibrate it. And if you put 10, 20 calibration points, you have fantastic drawing. But what I have to do? Now, I don't know the coordinates. Only one, only one difficulty is here to find out where are the calibration points and what is the right, what is the right, uh, uh, what is the right um, x and y um, number of these coordinates. This is only one difficulty. But we offer here a fantastic method so that you can use dimensions for your calibration. Because look, in this dimension I have all the information what I need if I want to calibrate this drawing. And let me use this. This is not complicated. So, for example, what I'm doing, I snap here the end here of this line and I decide here, here I decide will be my coordinate zero. Uh, but I'm not interested in Y coordinate. Calibrate this one point and everything what you snap here in this area to coordinate zero. And now if this is a coordinate zero, then the next coordinate here have to be, what have to be? Ah, 60, zero, 4. 60, dog, zero, 4. You see, I calibrated now. Now, the program take, this will be zero, and this will be 60, zero, 4. And I step here, oh, moment, moment. Oh, I have to do, delete it. Because, oops, and again, hop, 60, zero, 4. And the program snap here the end of this line. Because if this end of this line is this in this um, rectangle, it will snap it. So now I zoom it here. So let me take this, this coordinate first here. This is what I take and I decide this is a coordinate zero, but, okay, sorry, sorry, zero, but in y direction. And in x direction I'm not interested. Only in y direction, zero. Okay, and now the program will calibrate uh, every coordinate, this one, this one, this one, this one, everything, oh my god, my telephone, uh, okay, will be co uh, calibrated as a, in y direction zero. Now, this can be 1.25 and in y direction. And you can go through the full, full, full dimensions here. And now I can define, for example, relative point, relative to the last one is 3.44. Can you see it? And now, for example, I decide 9.75, this is an absolute, absolute point, 9.75. Why is not 75? This is this one, 9.75. Let you look again. You see, I have now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 5, f 6 fantastic calibration points. And you can put so much into the drawing how you want, and now look what's happened. Now I'm going here and start the conversion, and you will see now the quality will be absolutely different, because now we have 6 fantastic points for uh, for drawing um, calibration and looks what happened. So now I will measure the distance, distance from here to here. Look, 1604, perfect. And now distance from here to here. 9.75, can you see it? Perfect. And now distance from here to here. 3.44. Perfect. You see, everything, what I calibrate here has now a perfect dimension, but not only this one. If we measure, for example, now distance from here to here, let me measure distance from here 
to this corner. 3.44. Perfect. If we measure distance from here to here. Distance from here to here. Oh, my man, there's a snap here. There's something wrong. Distance from here to here. Uh, this is, it seems not to be three, four. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I have to, this is them. Okay. But it's, this was not calibrated. Um, now, three dot distance, three dot five, five. Because this, I calibrate on a, this one. Okay, but this is not calibrated. Three dot, and you see everything what we calibrate is better, but of course, this distance will be not perfect because we do not put exactly calibration points on the mathematical methods now to change the, the change here the uh, the quality. But the quality is now more, more, more better. Better. It is almost four dot seven. But it, as I told you, this is only now. And mathematical methods what make it better. If you, for example, if you will define it every point on this every point on this on this dimension, like a calibration point, you will receive a perfect drawing. Yes, but it takes a little bit time. I know. Okay. Okay, guys. This was everything what I wanted to show you today, and. Thank you, thank you very much for your attention.